What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own stencils. You guys have been asking for this video for months, so I'm glad to finally be making it. I'm gonna go over several different ways to make stencils and you guys can decide which one works best for you. We'll start off talking about the way that I make my own stencils. If you've watched some of my videos, you've seen that I'll use them for all different kinds of designs like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and random logos. Stencils are super useful and can make your customs look a lot more professional. To make mine, I use a machine called a Cricut Explore One. It's a cutting machine that can cut a lot of different materials, but I mainly use it for cutting vinyl. I got mine from Walmart for about $200. I know $200 might seem like a lot of money, but trust me, it's a really good investment because you can make your money back pretty quickly. So I'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to make a stencil using a Cricut Explore one. For the supplies, we're going to need a Cricut Explore machine, a grip mat, a roll of vinyl, and a roll of transfer tape. I'm going to be customizing this cheap wallet that I bought a while ago. If you haven't noticed, I like shoes, so I'm going to do a shoe-related custom. So first, we have to find a picture to use. So I'm going to search Google Images for some Jordan 11 vectors. I'm just looking for an outline, so a picture like this would be perfect, and really any of these would work. I actually like these Air Maxes better, so I'm going to choose these. So I'm going to download the picture and save it to my computer, and then we'll go ahead and open up the Cricut Design app and start a new project. So in here is going to be where we actually design the stencil. Over on the left hand side, there's an upload tab. So I'm going to click that and upload the image of the Air Maxes that I just downloaded. Now we have to choose the image type. And since the picture is just a black outline, we can choose simple. But I'll show you guys another example later where the image is more complex. The next step is where you can edit the picture, but it's already good. So I'm just going to click continue. And now I'm going to save it as a cut image. So now that original image is saved as a stencil and I'm going to insert it into the design space. I need my stencil to be a little less than three and a half inches wide, so I'm going to resize it. And once it's good, I'm going to go up to the top of the screen and click make it. So here we're given a preview of where the stencil is going to be cut on the grip mat. So now we have to get that ready. The grip mat has adhesive on it, so the vinyl should stick to it once you put it on. And now we can load it into the machine. We want to make sure that it's set to vinyl and then click the start button. And now we can just sit back and wait. Here's what it looks like when it's done. It's a perfect cut. Now with an X-Acto knife, I'm gonna remove all the sections where I want paint to go. So in this case, it would just be the outline. They have a special tool to use for this, but I never bought it, so I just use an X-Acto knife. All right, now it's ready. So everywhere that there's white, that's where the paint's gonna go. I'm gonna take a piece of transfer tape that's roughly the same size as the stencil and apply it over the stencil. To make sure that the vinyl comes off when you peel it back, you can use your finger to press down each section. So now when I peel it back, it all comes off and now the stencil is ready to be applied. Once you have the stencil where you want it, again you'll need to apply some pressure to each section to make sure it sticks to the leather. A lot of times it'll stick to the transfer tape so you'll have to go slowly. So now the stencil's on the wallet, but before we can paint it, it's really important to apply heat with something like a heat gun or a blow dryer. The reason for this is because leather isn't perfectly smooth, so once you start painting, it'll leak under the stencil. But if you apply heat, it causes the vinyl to sink down into all the little creases, which prevents it from leaking. And now we can start painting. After three coats of paint, we can go ahead and remove the stencil. And if we did everything correctly, there shouldn't be any leaks. I forgot to show it on camera, but I prepped the leather with acetone before I painted it. So if you're customizing something, make sure to do that as well. And there we go. As you can see, it came out perfect. Now I'm gonna show you a quick example for when you're working with an image that's a little more complex. Here's a picture of the in and out logo. So I'm gonna turn this into a stencil. This time I'm gonna select moderately complex for the image type. And since this isn't a PNG file, when I click continue, it'll just show a big square as the preview. So we'll have to go back and remove the white space using the magic eraser tool. It's easy to forget to remove the white inside of the small letters. So make sure to get those areas as well. So now when I click continue, you can see that the logo shows up, but it doesn't recognize the yellow areas. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those as well. And now it's good to go. 
So that's how I make my stencils. Like I said, getting a vinyl cutter is a great investment, especially if you have your own shoe custom business. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy one. Now I'm going to talk about a few alternatives if you don't want to buy a vinyl cutter. These methods work great, especially if you're on a small budget. I actually learned both of these from my friends here on YouTube. The first method is from my friend Ink Jink. All you need is some paper and some masking tape. You can either draw or print out your image onto a piece of paper and then put some translucent masking tape over it and trace over the image. Then just remove the tape and put it on the shoes and you can use an X-Acto knife to cut out the different shapes as you go. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out his full video. The last method isn't really making a stencil, but it's a quick and easy way to transfer an image onto a shoe. My friend Dylan from DeJesus Custom Footwear made a great video on how to do that. You basically just use some graphite to draw an image on some paper and then when you scribble on the back of the paper, it transfers it to the shoe. He has a couple of videos where he goes in depth and explains how to do it so i highly recommend checking those out so there we have it those are a few different ways you can make your own stencils at the end of the day you can always just buy some from etsy if you don't feel like doing any of these but in the long run it's going to be cheaper if you get a vinyl cutter hopefully some of you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and if anyone has any questions you can leave a comment down below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible i have a really fun custom plan for next week so make sure you're subscribed with post notifications on so you don't miss that and yeah that's it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next one